unlike painted turtles that kind of stay in the, in the ponds, uh, pond turtles like to move. They get out there, you know, after you know, and they just they do their sojourn, and they can go out like you know, a thousand feet out there. They just keep going and going. They are creatures that are few in numbers in the Evergreen State. However, thanks to a broad coalition of state and federal agencies, as well as key stakeholders, the future is bright. For this field report, we are in Southwest Washington as the pond turtle launches its comeback. Educate other people about Western pond turtles. TVW is on hand as representatives from the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife, Friends of the Columbia Gorge, Oregon Zoo and U.S. Forest Service released 16 western pond turtles into protected habitat in the Columbia Gorge. This effort began with much smaller creatures. What happened is last fall, we actually collected the tiny hatchling turtles about this big out of their nest and we brought them to the Oregon Zoo. And the Oregon Zoo took care of them all winter long uh, they grew nice and big, they got well fed, they could bask during the winter, and today we released them back into the wild. And the reason why we wanted them to grow a little bit bigger is that they can escape predation mainly from bullfrogs, which are not native, um, but other predators as well. Now they're better at swimming, a little bit bigger and hardier, and they should have a good survival now that they're in these ponds. The plan by WDFW and partners to release these turtles is part of an ongoing conservation strategy. In 1993, the western pond turtle was endangered in Washington, with the total population estimated ahead of 1994 believed to be around 156. During a 25-year program intended to rejuvenate the struggling population, at least 1,800 turtles have been released into six different population sites. WDFW Stephanie Berg described to TVW what the pond turtles do once released into their natural habitat. When the turtles are in the water, they are moving around constantly looking for food. Um, their main food source are aquatic invertebrates, so little bugs in the water. They're also um, basking, so they're trying to find maybe some logs or uh, vegetation like the cattails where they can bask on and absorb that heat from the sun. And they are you know, mating, defending themselves from other predators uh, that might be in and around the ponds. The western pond turtle faces a range of challenges and obstacles in its battle to survive in Washington. Bullfrogs. A lot of people don't know how um, devastating bullfrogs can be. Also, other turtle species. And a lot of people get a turtle as a pet. They get a red-eared slider, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, <laughs> and they don't realize how long it lives. And then they think, well, I can just probably put it in my pond back here and it'll be fine. Well, unfortunately, those turtles can compete with our native species of turtles. While only a few turtles were released during the event, it's all part of a plan, an ongoing publicly funded state conservation effort. Part of the mission of Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife is to pre preserve and protect um, species of Washington. And so this western pond turtle is one of two native freshwater turtles. The other is the western painted turtle. And um, the western pond turtle was listed as state endangered. And so it's our mission to recover the population of western pond turtles in Washington um, so that they're no longer endangered.